was doing something else. And I should have been playing with them so that we got them at the most playful. <gasps> yes, we love Petite Golden Doodle Puppies. They're six weeks old. A little over six weeks old. Yeah. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? What are you doing? So we are playing today. Mama's having some time off. And somebody's fighting over there in the... That's a Chiquita puppy. Somebody's arguing. Hopefully this is clear enough. It looks a little foggy, or it could be just my eyesight. What are you doing here, buddy? What are you doing? So the first pick in this litter has been chosen, and that is our yellow boy. Where did you go? Right over there laying down. Can't see him right now. And he's the biggest. He's a petite size. He's the biggest of the boys. And then the biggest of the girls is right here, turquoise girl. And she's also the darkest. This is more of a apricot and peanut butter litter. And then we do have just a few reds in there. Um, little greeny boy, he's the smallest of the boys. And he looks actually identical to, he's not related to, but he looks identical to Chiquita. And so um, I should show you Chiquita's grown pictures um, in the, I'll, I'll try to put that, or you guys can probably see her picture if you go to the update, you'll see one of hers. But his coat is just a little more flat. And that is exactly what her coat looked like. It's going to get long, but it's gonna be just a little different texture, not as thick. Um, the nice thing about that is they don't mat. Um, still no on the shedding, but I'm noticing his coat is definitely, um, and it could be just because he's small, um, sometimes the little guys, it takes a little bit more for their coats to come in. So over the next week, we'll be able to really see their coats here. Um, just before picking, you guys will be able to have a little more accuracy on coats. All right, I'm going to come over here since nobody will come to me. Yes, hello. Okay, so I'm going to emphasize this again. Toys, 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 right? Toys, toys, toys. We love our toys. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. We love it. These are awesome, these rope toys. I mean, they're just about everywhere, and I wash them. I throw them in the washing machine. Um, I'll put uh, a little um, picture in our update for you guys. I use Odaban. Um, it is a liquid, it's a disinfectant, it kills all kinds of germs, and it is great on all kinds of odors, especially, um, you know, dog, puppy, any kind of yuck. It is awesome, but it's Odaban. It's, it's um, you dilute it. I um, I even use it to spray just you know around in my house for our own family for germs and stuff. But I absolutely love it. I mean, I'm one of those people that I I can do dog poop. I can do baby poop. I can do all that. When it comes to vomit, that that is just something I can't do with our kids. So I use Odaban to spray on it and it actually cuts the smell enough for me to pick it up. So I will put a link to that. It is awesome when you're washing, um, you know, anything of the puppies, put some of that in there. It gets rid of um, germs, but it also makes it smell really good. Look, they're really paying attention. They're like, really? Really? Is this how it works? Come on, guys. <laughs> Come here. Okay. So Here's our dark pink collar girl. She is an apricot. Those ears, those dark ears stay there. And then we have lavender. Are you gonna look at me? <gasps> Hi, there's lavender. And she's more of a peanut butter, a light peanut butter color. And I'm gonna have to go over here and get, oh, 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 oh there she is. You're going back over here. All right, so um, purple is the smallest of this litter. I'm gonna have to go over here and get her. Oh, guys, excuse me. Okay, she's the smallest in the litter. And um, just a total cuddle bug, 
wants to be held and pet and all that stuff. And she's gonna be what I call an apricot just because you can see underneath here is lighter. And so she's gonna look like this peanut butter, but as this, and you can see around her eyes, it's kind of getting light around here. And that's gonna show us that she's gonna turn a little lighter like this apricot color. You can see her next to, well, my socks are off white, but um, anyway, ears, the dark ears stay dark. That goes a little light. When you cut them, um, you're gonna notice this this apricot on there and you're gonna see the underneath, which is a little more cream. So hopefully that kind of helps you with there. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. And what are you doing? That is adorable. You're just sitting up like a person. Okay, so, um, and then this um, dark green is gonna be, this is actually a light red. Um, Oh, come on, let's get a better lighting in here. The Sahara Sands are here, and I don't have a great lighting, and this room, we painted it yellow. That was my idea, my bad. But, um, so it makes things look a little more yellow than they are. But anyway, um, so he's gonna be a peanut butter. And you're going to be a light red, or a peanut butter, aren't you? Yes. Come here, let's all play. I'm sorry, they were playful, and I, I um, uh, was doing something else, and I should have been playing with them so that we got them if they were playful. <gasps> yes, we love that. We love that. So next up for these guys, I gotta move your ear. That bothers me. <laughs> and next up for these guys is their um, first set of shots. So they're getting their first set of shots here, and then they'll be due in three weeks, and I think I've accidentally said that they don't need to have them for three weeks after you get home, but it's three weeks after we give them. So two weeks after they get home, um, your paperwork, your reading material email will s uh, show you what day their shots, their next set of shots will be due on. And um, let me know if your vets have any questions about our vaccinations, that type of thing. You're just, he's just like a love bug. You're just a love bug, yes. Look at you. So, um, yeah, our lavender is a true peanut butter. If you think about a jar of peanut butter, that's, and most usually the peanut butters don't lighten up. Um, reds can lighten up, but the peanut butter usually stays peanut butter. I, I will say that um, in some of our pocket litters, the owners have reported that their coats are getting darker as they go home, which is interesting because usually a red lightens up. So it, it um, we've had a couple that have gone home apricot and ended up kind of red. So just a little, they have so many red genetics in there, um, along with that cream. The reason we get more of a peanut butter and a cream is because of the English line in there. The white English retriever line is lightening things up. What are you, are you guys arguing over the toy? Do you like that toy? Is that a good toy? Yeah? Get it. Get it. Say we're little, but we, yes, yeah, we're just big on the inside. And you know what, Dark Pink, this is kind of her M.O. is, is dragging around the potty pad, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm noticing some tearing here on purple. That's not, um, that's not gonna be a permanent thing. Her hair is like really growing out all of a sudden, so I don't worry about that really on our reds at all. Um, that's more of a, a white, when we have a white coat. Look at you just sitting there. Come on, you play for us. Is that, are you just gonna look at the... What do you think? What do you think? Yeah. So your temperament testing results, I'm, I'm a little late getting them out, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, just so many emails to get out to people. I was concentrating on Shakita and her litter and getting all of their stuff to them so they can be ready for picking. So um, your temperament testing results are coming. That way you, you will have them um, at least by Monday. Um, I know that we have picking next week, so you'll, you'll have them as soon as possible. I think Monday. No, I should be able to get them done tomorrow. It's just a matter of typing it up and getting it out to you. So it's not a huge litter, so we should be able to do that. Um, <laughs> look at you. Look at you. All right, so that's pretty much what we're doing right now. Um, we have uh, started the weaning process here with Rosita's puppies. They're on hard, solid kibble. And so they will be uh, weaned here within the next few days.
and ready to go home. We'll be working on our crate training. Um, two at a time, we have an even, I like it when we have an even number. That way it's two, two, two. And um, they seem to crate train a little better when they're that way with a buddy. And then once they're tired of their buddy and they're used to their crate, then we'll put them in another one. Um, for those of you who, um, I mean, by the time they get home, if they whine, it should be very minimal for them to sleep in their crates. But, sorry, I had to take a drink. Um, we do have on our store side at lambgoland.com, there's a link below, um, we have the Snuggle Puppy. Our customers um, and owners and friends all love the Snuggle Puppy. It is uh, like a big stuffed animal that you put a little device in it that has a heartbeat. And then it has a little warmer packet that you can put in there and um, it doesn't burn them or anything, but it stays warm and they have the heartbeat and it's something they actually do snuggle up with. And we use this for um, Emerald, my daughter Jessica's dog that we kept. And it was awesome because she just, and she still plays with that. That is her favorite toy. We just took the heartbeat out now. So um, it can be washed. You just take the stuff out, out of it and throw it in the washing machine, dry it. Awesome. But anyway, check that out if you guys um, want some kind of companion for them when they're in their crates at home or if you have to leave them if you're going back to work or something um, that's great look at you see he's just like yeah so we're teething we're teething and I'm gonna let them know no no we're not gonna bite do you want to No, we're not gonna bite no 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 bite no bite I know I know I love you too I love you too all right, guys, I'm going to let you just watch them for a minute. And um, hopefully I can wake them up here for you so they do a little more than just lay here and sleep. And uh, we will talk to you next week.